Hello and welcome to another daily Rising Super Stream. I'm your host, Liam, uh, the only host who lost one googly eye on his PlayStation VR. Uh, I, <laughs> I only noticed that, like, a second ago. So the eye could be anywhere, but I think we're going to be going mono-eye today. Um, I would put it in the middle, but that would cover one of the sensors, and that just seems like a bad idea. Um, but I think today is going to be a mono-eye playthrough. Uh, because it's 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 all I got. It's all I got right now. In case you're wondering what screen's black, it's because the Elgato. Well, no capture device likes switching resolution. So let me let me see if I can get this shit to work and set up the PSVR a bit quicker than last time. Last time we had an unfortunate setup issue related to HDCP secretly being on, and that was not fun. But I think we should be good. I'm doing good today, Mr. Wolfwood. I'm I'm very keen to play this game uh, because I I bought it the day it came out, and I I simply haven't had um, the desire to play it until I finish Psychonauts. So, you gonna work PSVR? You gonna work? Oh yeah, we got that green screen. Got that good old green screen. You remember this from last time? Fuck me. Okay. Uh, what was the steps? What was the steps to rectify this? believe it was unplug Elgato remove unplug Elgato replug Elgato yeah for those who don't know for anyone watching on YouTube who, who clicked on the video without reading the title uh, today we are playing uh, Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin um, which is the sequel direct sequel to Psychonauts um, there we go there we go there we go. Okay, cool. This is the direct sequel to Psychonauts. Um, that audio is probably really loud. Fuck. Okay, this is the direct sequel to Psychonauts that takes place uh, immediately after the first game and before Psychonauts 2 takes place at all. Um, it's, it's been said that it's not going to be mandatory to play... Um, to play this game before Psychonauts 2, which is good because a lot of people don't have access to PlayStation or well to any VR headset. Um, but I imagine this will bridge the gap a little bit. And I hear it's quite short, so we should be able to blast through the whole thing um, in one in one session. Um, yeah, Frosted Zaibatsu. There, uh, the the fig campaign for Psychonauts 2 absolutely did pass. It was a great success. Uh, Chithonaut asks, how was the target practice trophy? Um, so in Psychonauts, I went back. Uh, I've, I've been going back through to do like a 100% platinum playthrough. I went back and I was doing this one trophy. And it took like a fucking year for me to get it. Um, it's right at the bottom, isn't it? I love punching. The punchy target minigame. Oh my god, is it a fucking difficult minigame. It's insane. It is so fucking hard, and the input lag on this version of the game makes the last couple levels... I, just, I don't want to say borderline impossible, because I did finish them, and I don't want to be that um, overconfident, but, like, they are ridiculously hard. It took an incredible, incredible feat of skill and bravery in order to, to actually complete it. Uh, holy shit, what a challenge. So my cables are super tangled, so let me just untangle them. Okay. Let's crack this thing on. So, of course, just like any PSVR stream, uh, apologies ahead of time, but yeah, I can't I can't really read the chat. That's just not that's just not gonna happen. Uh, where'd my headphones at? There they are. Now, my friend Commando Joe bought me this beautiful, nice new pair of headphones, but unfortunately it's a little it's a little a little bit big, um, that set. And when I put it on over top PSVR, although it does have much better noise cancelling than these shitty Sony headphones, um, they're just, they're so big that it's really uncomfortable with the headset. And it's a real shame, because they're much, much better headphones than these tinny pieces of shit. Okay. So, let's boot the game and make sure, make sure everything's running correctly. Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. 
Yo, Slim Chazbot, finish typing your question. I'll totally try to answer it. Don't worry. I'm probably gonna need to adjust the Elgato one more time as the as the resolution as the resolution switches, the Elgato should break again. <laughs> That's just what it do. Yeah, okay, it did break again. Okay. I can still see right now, so if if, if anyone's typing shit, don't worry. You haven't missed the you haven't missed your opportunity yet. Okay, let me just reset the Elgato one more time. Ba 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 ba. And apologies for the, the chroma freaking out. That happens just with VR because uh, PSVR uses blue lights to track, and so it's gonna. It blows out the um, visuals a little bit. Unplug the Elgato. Plug back in the Elgato. Um. Yeah, so, so some Shazbot asks, uh, not sure how much you know about Fig, but you know why I see a lot of accusations that it's shady or a scam? Uh, is there a genuine reason for people to be apprehensive about using the platform, or is it just people being bitter about the mishandling of the Double Fine Adventure Kickstarter? Well, personally, I think that um, if there hadn't been any mishandling, if everything would have went perfectly, no one would give a shit. Um, is it operating in a 100% perfectly legal way i i don't know i genuinely don't know the details but i have seen people talk about it and i am i am the kind of person who who usually feels when there's smoke there's fire that being said um it is it is run directly by a bunch of game companies uh and handled by justin bailey at double fine well actually he's no longer at double fine now he just does fig as far as i know um in in my opinion i don't really I, even if even if there's something slightly shade like sketchy about the way it's handled, I like Fig a lot because it puts more money in the hands of developers um, than Kickstarter um, and other equivalents. You know, Fig Fig is kind of handled and chaired by people who have made big Kickstarters. And so they've been able to gear it towards making big Kickstarters like that. Um, okay. Anyway, good question. Uh, super interesting. Um, I am going to um, get into this, and as soon as as soon as I'm in here, shit's just not going to work anymore. You can't you can't ask me more questions. Um, so I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna try to pop out to see if the Elgato's fucked, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything. Uh, last question. Ozymandia asks, did you see Super Bunny Hops, uh, Wii U eulogy? Oh, shit. Right. I did not set up the camera correctly. So Super Bunny Hop did a great video the other night. Uh, a eulogy for the Wii U. Fuck. Ah. On what he feels, on how he feels it went. And I think it was fairly accurate. I think my only complaint is I wish he would have covered the huge draught of games in the first year a little more thoroughly. But I think he did a good job otherwise. Okay, great. Great, great, great. And we're in. Because, boy, the huge draw of games in the first year for the Wii U was... Like, it was actually the worst period I can remember from any console I've owned. That's a really cool Double Fine logo. Having the baby fly around you like that. That's real nice, actually. <laughs> That, that and the Warner Brothers logo in uh, Batman are, like, probably the two best VR um, logos I've seen. So there's the, the jet that you took off in right at the end of the first game. Um, and it's my understanding that this game picks up literally right there. Let's just check the options real quick. Um, subtitles. Controls. Yeah, look, there's some of our powers sure they'll point out how to use those as we go through one last check okay all right and uh let's go in let's 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 do this thing oh look figments I am a psychonaut. much higher quality figments a real psychonaut. Me, look he's all muscular after dreaming about it all my life I'm finally a psychonaut on an actual mission. 
Rescuing not just anybody, but the grand head of the Psychonauts himself, Truman Zanotto. Who just there he is. The there she is. What a cute. I mean, I think she's my girlfriend. <laughs> Still don't really know. <laughs> but it's not like we've had the talk or anything. But hey, she said it first. Darling? Didn't she? Rasputin, sweetie. Oh, Mia. Hello, darling. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. God, everyone looks so high quality. I knew you were talking out loud. You could hear me? Just that last part. About Lily. <laughs> it's adorable, but we're trying to contact headquarters up here, and it's a little distracting. Gotcha. <laughs> so embarrassing. So this is this is the jet, like... 12 seconds after the end of the first game. Come in, Sorry, busy right now. No How's the audio mix? Is that looking okay? Business. This concerns the kidnapping. Give us the intel you've gathered so far, and we can help with the... Unbelievable. Well, we'll just have to locate Truman on our own. I'll reach out now and see if I can pick anything up. It's often important to see the world from someone else's point of view. Especially when you're strapped to your seat. Okay, so square to use clairvoyance. Hi, Lily. How you holding up? I'm so worried about my dad, Raz. Where is he? Why won't headquarters tell us what they know? We'll find him. I promise. God, Raz looks so incredibly high quality. Like, fuck, look. Real reflections on his goggles. That's better. <laughs> Man, the graphics, holy shit. I mean, I know it's been like two generations since the first Psychonauts, but still. So you no longer see people in different ways using clairvoyance. This is how Sasha sees the world. Well, not usually from so high in the air, but would you yes. mind picking up that message? I don't know if um if that'll if that'll be how it is in Psychonauts 2, but at least for this game, everyone looks just normal. I'm seeing the world from Mia's point of view. Yes, and you're quite welcome, but I'm trying to find Truman Zanotto right now, so please try to keep it done while you're in here, okay? Okay. A little psychic poke might come in handy. Hey, how'd that squirrel get in here? The squirrels get in here again. That's to be expected when you park a plane in the woods, darling. I told headquarters <laughs> an underground hangar pays for itself in two years. Well, let's see what it other match. Some people think that telekinesis is a Oh fuck. Put that away. The psychic's bread and butter. Okay, so L2. Aha. I knew that suitcase was yours, Mia. Yes, but the good feelings belong to everyone. Save your energy. Pillows? This jet is all first Please, class. Raz. No, you're getting the pillow. There you go. I got you. Okay, so we got telekinesis. Oh yeah, the new issue. Have to read Oh, this. true psychic tales. Yeah, this was in the This is totally like one of the collectibles in the previous game. Devious little nut brain. Okay, I gotta get the squirrel. There's beauty. Little privacy, Damn please. It. Sorry. I'm having a hard time highlighting the squirrel. No, I don't think he's grabbable, actually. I'm actually not 100% sure what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Can I crack open the bathroom and then go into his brain? Oh, I can't do it. Hey, I got one. What does a live squirrel in an overhead compartment have in common with a dead squirrel on the side of the road? Eh? Anyone? They're both carry-on. <laughs> Good gag. You get it? Carry-on? <laughs> oh, look, there's my sweater. Sorry, serious It's so much higher quality now. Okay, what the fuck do you want me to do to the squirrel? Actually, though, I don't have pyromancy, so I can't use that. So was the audio mix okay in the in the end? Uh, turn up the game audio a little bit. Yeah, I can do that. Let's just crank that a little bit. Put it up ten percent. So hopefully that's. Maybe that squirrel could give me some perspective. Oh, of course. God, I'm stupid. 
<laughs> I suddenly feel a little nutty. <laughs> God, he's got a whole messed up here. Ah, who asked you? Everybody knows squirrels have no sense of humor. This is like, hey, Rasputin. Think you could toss me a roll of toilet paper? Thanks for the reinforcement, son. Yeah, now that he's all sane. Oh, look, the, the, it's the same shows! Or at least one of them was. Yeah, it's the same shows! Okay, now we got pyrokinesis. Hold triangle. But I feel that knowing when not to burn stuff is an undervalued skill. When you really focus your thoughts... And side blast, okay. And break a lot of stuff. No way am I side blasting Lily. I couldn't side blast Mia. I wouldn't side blast Sasha. Hellos? This jet don't want to blast my uniform. <laughs> True psychic tales. This is what made me want to be a psychonaut in the first place. This should really be in a protective sleeve. I wonder why that one over future vision. Oh, oh. Not the others. Oh, which overhead been? Oh, the first one. Okay. Grand head of the Psychonauts. Oh, it's reserved for my dad. He uses the jet sometimes. He used to come see me at camp. But I was embarrassed and told him to stop. I'm the worst daughter in the world. Right, she should be really sad. <laughs> Darling, that's just not true. <laughs> okay, she's composed again. Hey, that's my dad's old music box. That's beautiful, Lily. It used to be my grandma's. What's a family heirloom doing locked up in the jet? No idea. But I'm glad it's here. Are you trying to use clairvoyance on that music box to make a connection with your dad? Yeah, but I... I can't do it. Either I'm too freaked out or too involved or the signal's blocked or he's... He's... Don't worry. You'll get it. No. <laughs> Would you mind if I gave it a try? I'm... I'm getting something. Oh, is it my father? Can you see him? No. Oh, that's a cool effect. The, like, wavy edges of vision. It looks nice. Everyone, focus your thoughts on Raz and Grand Head Zonato. That's actually a really neat effect. I've never seen that in VR before. It looks really good. I'll cover you from here. This is where I do my best concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> I see something. It's a strange room. Look around for clues, Rasputin. If we can figure out where this room is, we can fly the jet straight there. But first, tell me if my dad's okay. On it. I super can't tell if her dad's okay. Oh, hey, what's wrong with me? Why can't I... <laughs> Raz, what's wrong? I can't. I guess that's like an anti-psychic powers I containment so unit. Just, like just his brains in there. Away from Truman, darling, so your connection might not be strong enough. Okay, so this moves that guy around. Oh, and there's a button missing. The the green one is totally missing. This button doesn't seem to be working. Rats. What about that guy up there? Uh, this guy's in charge of the big ball. Uh, fish star seashell. Know, and it's bad. These other symbols look a little fishy. Okay, I'll look for that in a second. Sealed tight. Okay. If oh, there we go. Computer genius, what oh, fuck. Fuck. I like how these are all like little squeaky buttons, like they're toys. It's got a real good charm to it. Okay, that was the right code. Okay, I open the hatch and oh, it's full of. Uh, What's wrong, guys? He's holding some bucket thing in his hand Nothing. too. Just got a little dizzy for a second. There's some sort of. 
glowing yellow rock in here. Rasputin, was there a psychohazard symbol on the outside? Psychohazard. <laughs> oh yeah. I was gonna mention that. Silerium. Be careful, Ras. It's very psychically disorienting. Okay, so that's like the opposite of the the stuff from the first game, I suppose. But we still need more information, Rasputin. Gotcha. They've got Truman's head in a giant steel ball. They cut off his head! <laughs> no, no. It's attached to his body. It's just stuck in a big round... Uh, Lily's great, man. Psycho-isolation bonnet, I presume. <laughs> bonnet. What are they using for an anti-catalyst? That thing sounds pretty solid. Okay, I don't seem to be able to close that either, so let's just let's just get away from that. Can't make out the image because of this lumpy slacker here. Oh, I see they're projecting something. Hey. Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. My telekinesis feels busted. I can't get a grip. I assume I can't pyromancy either. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's over there for now. I gotta say, if this is the visual quality to expect from Psychonauts 2, like, that's fucking awesome. This game's really good looking. Okay, so he's got a computer diagram. And Henry. Oh god, there's a whole comic book. Holy shit. Are you guys getting this thrilling story? Bring my car around. Right away, sir. Tip. What a shitty cartoon character. Uh, fish, pufferfish, seashell. Okay, cool. I haven't checked out that guy either yet. That's it. You found the location of the kidnapper's lair? Oh, now that button should be working. No, I, well, I'm not sure what I did, but I did something. Something's happening. Oh. Oh, we're underwater? Cool. Oh no, are they using water torture? No. Water outside of the window. Guys, we're underwater. Under a lot of it. Underwater? A submerged hideout. Ooh, now that is interesting. No wonder they haven't found it yet. But the ocean is huge. Raz, we need more clues. This guy's just got this giant button here. As soon as the dialogue's done, I'm gonna mash it. Yeah, it needs to be powered on. Oh, okay, I need another code to power it on. Okay, yeah. This one's really interested in buttons and screws. I guess I can always look around a little bit up there and see if there's anything else to to spy. Do it. The Silerium is messing up my brain. Right, no powers. Oh, I can move those mirrors. So there's probably something to reflect. There's another mirror there, too. Okay. I need to figure out where that is at some point. Any symbols? No, it doesn't look like it. Oops, wrong guy. What's on your clipboard? Oh, I can't see his clipboard. Bummer. Um, and I still have no idea what that th thing he's holding is. Just because it's Psychonauts, I feel like there's got to be a brain inside it or something. <laughs> this thing oh, I can raise the chairs too. Hmm. 
And that mirror can't do anything yet. Okay. So I still haven't... I still haven't figured out how to get this bozo to move. Because um, that seems essential. I bet that projection is displaying... Oh, it's on his head. <laughs> it's kind of on his head. Uh, a man washing his hands at a sink? Must be hard to find good henchmen these days. Uh, I don't know. Is there any way to move him? If I could even like get the slide to change, that would be good. But the clicker, all I can do is all I can do is like just hit it. Also, I just want to comment on how I really like how it says clicker on it, um, and it's not a remote or whatever, and they explicitly wrote clicker, so you'd use that old person talk and call it a clicker. That's good shit. Okay, let's keep looking around, I suppose. I can still mash buttons down there, and I can still cycle this guy around a little bit, so let's, let's keep cycling. And again, this green button is still missing. I'm sure that is a thing in some way. Oh, I can't quite get him from here. It's no good. The Silerium is making my brain weak. Okay, nothing to see here either. Okay, let's go back to button guy. Because he seems to have the most going on right now. Oh, look on the on the console itself. There's a little starfish and a fish and a jellyfish. Um, so starfish. Um, this kind of fish, I guess. Jellyfish? Could that? Nah, bummer. I thought that would be something. And that's the backspace. There's a big window here. But it's shut. You know what? I haven't actually attempted to look out the window. That's certainly true. I can just mash stuff. Guess that wasn't right. Okay. Let's go look out the window then, I guess. This button doesn't seem to be working. Rats. And I don't see anything. <laughs> Fuck, I hope I don't get stuck here for too long. Oh, I just had to knock him over with the fucking X button. Damn, that's unfortunate. something dangerous That's true, X is shove, pretty much, so fuck. Not sure. I did all that looking at him and no shoving at him. What a shame. I guess the suits protect you from some sort of psychohazard. Okay, so these suits let you carry that shit. The end. That's it. What the heck? What is it? It's the emblem for the Psychonauts. What? Could this be one of our unused facilities? <gasps> Sasha, an underwater Psychonaut facility. With a large supply of Silerium. Only one place I know fits that description, but it's been shuttered for years. Exactly. What? Do you know where my dad is? Is he safe? I think we know where he is, darling. But it's definitely not safe. Rasputin, we're leaving. Regather your thoughts carefully, Rasputin, so you don't get Silerium sickness. Roger that. We're coming for you, Dad! Oh, Lily. Papa? Lily, stay away. Don't come here. It's not safe. Papa! Something's not right. This isn't good. Yeah, everyone's staring at me now. Uh, All these fish faces. Rasputin. Darling, can you hear me? Rasputin, are you with us? How many fingers am I thinking about? Um, <laughs> purple? Close enough. Outpost Charlie Psycho Delta, the only underwater psychonaut research facility built for studying Silerium. And it's right in the middle of 
The rhombus of ruin. They said the thing. The region of the ocean noted for the numerous planes and ships that supposedly went missing there. Oh, like the Bermuda Triangle. Equilateral sides. Truman told me not to go there. Not safe. Oh, those legends were made up by the psychonauts to scare people away from our facility years ago. We've actually been flying toward the rhombus for hours while you slept. As a matter of fact, we should be there right about... Now, we flew into the deadly parallelogram? Rasputin, please! The parallelogram sides are not... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good gag. <laughs> Oh shit. My sweater. <laughs> what did you have to say to Mila? Mia? Nice title crawl, looks good. Oh, it's like a Bond opening! Oh, the water, the water curse, right. Wow, that was a really, like, that fucking title crawl was really, really good. <laughs> that kind of, like, abstract thing works really, really well in VR. Um, I told you to die has a similar, or I expect you to die has a similar one, and it's really great. I have to get out of here. Okay, so all right, we've been captured the facility. Probably for the best. Oh yeah, look, it's got a sting on it. Octopus uh, puffer, octopus puffer. Hmm. What's down here? Let's get back up there. I wonder if there's going to be any areas other than uh, these two. Like, if there's going to be a third area. Just checking comments real quick. Yeah, everything's still good? Cool. Okay, I just typed it in, and that button should be... Oops, bump the mic. This button should be operational now. Also, since I'm here... Oh, no, I still don't have my powers. Okay. Here we go. What the... What am I looking at there? I guess that's our. I don't know if that's our jet. That's a jet. That's for sure. Hi, fishy. Hi, fishy. So this is what it's like to be underwater. Hey. Wow, this looks really good. I'm stuck out here. Oh shit. I'm not really out here. I wonder where the jet is. Did it sink down to the bottom? Are the others inside? I've got to get down there and find them. Oh, there's tons of fish. Terrified of water. But since I'm wow. Mentally, this is awesome. So there's like, there's a bunch of sea mines, but then there's like a giant boat. Uh, is that a fucking a rocket? A submarine? Planes? Oh, and just tons of planes and tr even trains. <laughs> How the fuck did a train get here? Um, wow, that just looks fucking awesome. 
part of the rhombus of ruin is okay. an enormous silerium deposit. So powerful it can confuse and attract the minds of pilots and captains for miles and miles. Like a deadly mental magnet. The Psychonauts tried to set up research stations like this one to study it. But no one could bear the silerium mental effects. Is that a... Uh, uh... The things you you use to land from a rocket, whatever they're called, the, the the I can't fucking remember what they're called. Yeah, it totally is. So this section is just waiting for fish to move. <laughs> There's like a sedan, tanks, like all sorts of stuff. Where I'm like, okay, literally, how do you get that vehicle here? Did not expect to see one of these here. What's up, guys? <laughs> I don't know if their perspective is actually useful for anything. Wow! Look at all that Silerium glow! Look at all these vehicles! Wow, the Silerium deposit looks like a giant brain. So which is probably what we were zooming around earlier. What? Silerium poisoning? Psychomagnetism? I mean, I just made that term up. But it sounds as right as anything. I can feel it now. Twisting my mind. Wonder how it's affecting the others. <laughs> Camper. Okay. Mid-mission status report. Plane crashed. Team separated. I'm tied to a chair. Psy powers not working. Weird silent guards everywhere. I'm gonna put those in the challenges column. The <laughs> challenges. Not dead yet. Some power's still working. And I'm learning a lot about fish. I just need to find Lily and Sasha and Mia soon. Oh, and Coach. Him too. I've got to get down there and find them. <laughs> Just a string of bombs. Why not? It's it's interesting how everything is like in a in a in a string or a chain. Um, makes me wonder if that's just an aesthetic thing that they were like, yo, this looks good if we line them up like this, or if there's actually like meaning to how they're arranged. There's a, there's a UFO over there. <laughs> Maybe that fell off. Of the section certainly goes on for a little while. Not not in a super positive way. Like it's it's beautiful to look around. It really is. Hmm. Not much of a view from down here. But like I'm kind of just warping oh, from point man, to point. Feel your kidnapped psychonauts. Hey, anybody in there? I can't see from here. Huh. I thought jellyfish didn't have brains. Hmm. Oh, that's too low. Not much of a view from down here. Damn it. So I have to go over there and then poke that fish. Don't explode, don't <laughs> explode, don't explode. Coochie coo. Ah! ah, much better view. Although I feel a little bloated. I hope the kids got off before this bus sank. Wow. Look at that Silerium deposit. Where did it come from? And why does it look so much like a brain? This is easily one of the, the prettiest VR games I've ever played. Um, mostly art style. Uh, but even technically, like... A lot of the shaders and effects they're using, you'd think would be really expensive. But they're fucking making it work. That's one big ship. Can't get a connection. <laughs> oh, one of those guys is stuck in the bus. Oh. What are you doing? It's like she's in some 
some sort of trance. Looks like a switch for the train track. Hey, Mia! Snap out of it! Mia! Can you hear me? I can't talk now, Rasputin. This bus is caught on the track. Oh. It's taking all my strength to hold back this train. I need to Okay, now now look, now she's train. seeing stuff all fucked up. Oh wow. Mia. You think those They look really, really good. Children? I can't fail the orphans again, Rasputin. Oh, it's the fucking orphans who all who all got decimated in her story. Hey, there's the engine. I try to get it started. I don't think driving out of here is very likely. Cool. I never had a school bus with a radio in it. Of course, I never had a school bus, period. You know, growing up in the circus and all, no good. The power's dead. Oh, there's an electric eel. My brain. So if I can get that eel, eel. to somehow get in the bus, that would do it. Just like the battery's out of juice. I'll bet the manual for that battery specifically states, do not submerge battery in seawater for years. I don't know who these guys are, but this one really likes his tunes. I can't summon enough energy to move it. Okay, I've got to get outside somehow. There's eels all over, but I can't move into the eels because Raz is scared it'll fry his brain. Um... I don't think I can hold this for much longer. It's no good. Looks like a train engine. Wonder where the rest of it is. Ah, oh, man. Mia would love this song. I need to save huh. the children. The buttons don't work on it, right? Well, at least it's stuck on a good station. Huh. The buttons don't work on it, right? I imagine I've got to remember that 103.3 radio station for something. I don't think Let's I check all the seats out real quick. Choo choo! Okay. Mia, I need your help to find the other psychonauts. I need to save these orphans first. Orphans? No good. The power's dead. Oh. Oh, I see. Stop. Okay. Oh. Mm. This button is some sort of hexagon. But strangely... <laughs> so the eels obey the stop signs. so weird here. Okay, so eel is in the thing. Battery went up a little bit. Let's... Zoom swimming. Get more eels and dump more eels in. Hey, lights. Oh yeah, look, the battery's charging. Battery looks half full. Red light, almost full power. Stop. We're full up. That's kind of fun. As you were. Wow. Okay, so it stops all the fish from swimming. That's great. I opened it right at the beginning, and I didn't even really notice. Those sharks look really hungry. It was what, 103.3? Rasputin, where are you? Who are these people? Mia, we were in a plane crash. I'm in the research outpost. I think those guards work for Truman's kidnappers. And yeah, use the power of tunes to get her out of it. Seems. Are you with the others? No, we have to go find them. Of course. But I don't think I can do much of anything right now, Rasputin. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with me. It's the Silurium. It's messing up our brains. But I think I can resist it. Mori always said your brain was armored like a tank. I think the best way for me to help is to focus my psychic energy on you, young man. I focus on boosting your telekinetic ability, just in case you run into any more runaway trains. Okay, so now I'll be able to get one of my powers back, I assume? You won't be alone, darling. I'll be in your thoughts, listening to everything you think. Yikes. Hmm. 
Now that I have my TK back, what should I try to lift first? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Raz, what have you done? Uh, well, uh, I have a plan. Kind of. Raz, you then. <laughs> See? Exactly as I planned. Oh, Raz. I want to go fuck with this radio real quick. Can't get a grip on that radio. These bus seats must be really sticky. <laughs> hey, the lights on in that bomber over there. Uh, with that bomb? Oh yeah, that bomber. I see. So I bet Sasha Nine's over there. Be right back, Mia. And he'll have another section like this uh, over there. Or actually, it's probably not Sasha Nine. It's probably um, what's his face? I always fucking forget his name. Oleander, Coach Oleander. There's a guard here. Don't let him see you, darling. But right now, I'm just disembodied. I'm in. Great work, darling. He's just got a fucking... <laughs> I like how the fish was surprised. <laughs> Take that, fish. <laughs> Twelfth airborne flying rats give them the old one two wow that's a big bomb <laughs> just knock the bombs off the wall water must have neutralized these bombs right right there's a big yellow oh yeah there's a couple these big yellow ones really nervous is that welded shut to keep the water out or Keep something else in. Wow, that's a big bomb. The seawater must have neutralized these bombs, right? I really want to knock them all off these the wall. These things make me really nervous. <laughs> oh, Lily's here. Yeah, there she is. Lily. Uh oh. Lily is that a is that a bomb? Well, she hammering a bomb? Yeah, she is. Yeah. It's all right, darling. I was in a bad way thanks to the Silerium. Let's try to help her like you helped me. Wow. That's a big. Wait a second. Oh, hi, Raz. Welcome to my garden. Lily, you have to stop what you're doing. These aren't flowers. These are. Shh. Raz, quiet. Plants are very sensitive to psychic energy. <laughs> the I won't have you upsetting them. Oh man. So she's hammering this flower? That's not great either. The seawater must have neutralized these bombs. I love the little deer. Beat it, deer. Thanks, Rat. Hey, Lily dropped her music box. Yeah, there it it's is. It's a little damaged. It used to sing about my father, but then it stopped. Let's put it down there for now. What is that? Francis, the flower, oh the man, sun. are those fleas? Oh, what am I stuck in? There, oh, there's some sort of animal stuck in this hole. Okay. Man, these buggers are hard to squish. Okay. I'm oh yeah, it's a rat. Or something. A rat who's stuck in something, stuck inside a box. Yuck. I think I should leave it for the rat. Eeny, meeny, oh, I can grab the rat too. Me, I can also shove the rat, but it doesn't seem to do anything. make me really nervous. Roses are red, ready 
Okay, I gotta figure something out with this rat then. Got one. Oh, I can grab the flea, okay. Stop moving. Can't get a clairvoyant connection with that flea while it's jumping around. So there must be something on one of these shelves. Oh, flea respawned. Handy. Uh, I got an out-of-play area message. Um, for anyone who's, who's not not familiar, um, that's what happens when you go outside the camera range of PlayStation VR. Um, it doesn't actually do anything except pop that message, and it's pretty much just because um, the way it's set up on my computer monitor, it has a really limited um, range of vision. Okay, so nothing to do with the fleet here. Wait, there's a hole in the music box? Did I catch that right? Oh yeah. Hope you like music, flea. <laughs> That's awesome. The, the rat's stuck in a box, and then you stick a flea in the box. Looks so small from the outside. This is really cool. Very psycho Nazi. Let's get this out of there. This has gotta go. I'll bet this feels good. Right, music box? There we go. Like music to my ears. Well, not like music, but actually music. Love me. Hey, did you guys hear that? It sounds like, like, like. Hey, you guys lied to me. You're not flowers, none of you! Not even you, Francis! Where am I? Where's the jet? Where is everybody? Well, what's that light up there? Could be one of the others. Oh, the rat. <laughs> Out of my way, creeps, or you are literally toast. Harold, meet the real Lily Zanato. Okay, there was a guy. Oh, look, he got out. I'm sure he's gonna go do something over there now. There was still a guy back up there, and I would not mind seeing if there was anything around him. I didn't really give it a look. Yeah, okay, I didn't really think so. Hmm. I thought she was done messing with That's those bombs. I tried to knock the bomb down. That's not helping. <sighs> Lily, it's me. Raz, where are you? I'm with your father. Where is everybody else? I'm here too, darling, in a school bus nearby. I was sick with silurium poisoning, just like you. Silurium? Oh. Is that safe? There's a train connected to the outside of this wall. If I can get through this door, I can get inside. And go where? Away from this place where all the bombs are. Good point. Okay, I'll make a bomb pile. But you should find a safe place to hide. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's a big bomb. Awesome! Keep going, Raz. Gentle. Amazing! And you Lily's great. The seawater must have. Okay, that's enough big ones. Now I need some little ones that aren't so hard to heat up. Bring me a little 
I think the little ones were all up front. Bring me Francis! <laughs> Where's that little bomb Lily was talking to? The one she was hitting with a hammer. That's pretty dark. I like it. Bring me Francis, fuck. Come on, Francis. Oh, I hope I didn't just jam that in the corner too hard. Here we go, little Can I get that through there? No, okay. These things make me really nervous. Ooh. Oops. Let me take you somewhere safe. What's in these things? That's good. Any more, and we'll split this plane in half. Ooh. Okay, Raz. Wherever you are, plug your ears. Please be careful with fire, darling. Francis, I accept you for what you are. Now, show me what you got. That's a bit of a muted explosion, but whatever. Hello? Are you in there? Are you okay? I know better than poking I was so Lily. worried about you. I've gotten really attached to you, you know. I had no idea you were so close to the explosion. Someone who played this oh, came really hard right here. <laughs> You're so I'm only cute. coming a little. Who's my little cutie pie? You are. Lily would kill me if I tried Your to TK her right now. And your little ear. I'm sure I'm supposed to just go in her head, but I want to let the dialogue play out. And that cute little jacket. I just... I don't know. I just love you! You're my little <laughs> Man, there's a lot of dialogue here. <laughs> Okay, she might be done. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I knew she was talking to the rat. I'm sorry, darling. Um, excuse us for barging <laughs> into your mind like this, Lily. Uh, Hello again, sweetheart. Oh, Raz! Mia! Glad you're here. Listen. With the Silurian poisoning, I'm going to need a little help getting through this train. If I focus what's left of my Psy energy on you, Raz, it should give you enough extra power to cover me with pyrokinesis. But you gotta get out of here so I can concentrate, okay? Sounds good. I think she means out of her mind, darling. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, that scene was great. What fetish do you want? This game's all about that. Double fine got you covered. Yes, I feel the fire in my belly again. The belly of my Okay, so I guess we've got to... Oh, man, are we going through... Okay, we got pyrokinesis back. So are we going to go through all these trains one at a time and eventually into the UFO? Because that'd be really cool. What's blocking this door? A moose? A moose. Even though this isn't in anyone's mind, uh -oh. like in They're regular Psychonauts, like, sort of the, the level Don't design still up. feels really, really Psychonauts. Um, and putting all these fish around as, as things to warp to, like, makes sense, makes a lot of sense for this kind of, for that kind of feel. Never seem to cook all the way. <laughs> Are you talking about frozen casseroles, darling? Make sure you rotate the dish. So do I warm them up and then spin them? Dang. I didn't think that Yikes. would work. 
That only makes him more dangerous. Looks like she's not going through that door until I... Come on, don't be a chicken. Raz, don't push me. I'm not going in there until we get rid of that weirdo with the paddle prod. Um, is there another fish around? Yeah, still no side blast, of course. I see a fish through there. Oh, you know what? I can warp to the fucking guard, of course. God damn it. You can totally see her too. I'm a hungry creepy guard with a cattle prod. Now what? There was a fridge back there, so I assume I use the fridge. Open up. Ho ho! What's this? I have a feeling this is gonna be delicious. Yeah, it's still alive. Oh, it's a crab sandwich. It looks pretty delicious, though. Okay, Lily can probably go now. Yeah, here she is. Lily, run! Uh oh. Oh shit! This isn't good. Um, which way do I go? There we go. This door's not going to hold. I better hide. Great idea, Raz. Let's put a few more in there to be sure. <clears throat> These things are heavy. Keep going. Sorting baggage. I think, I think that might actually hold him, Raz. <laughs> Let's get out of here. so easy to throw everything, I just want to keep doing it. Like, it has a good feel to it. <laughs> At least these bags aren't crying. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's the reference to the emotional baggage. Okay, so that's going to lead out into this submarine. God, are, yeah, and then we're going to climb the submarine and go in the UFO. That's cool. Damn. Oh, look, we got a slide and block puzzle. Man, I thought those suitcases were heavy. Exactly. If it weren't for this stupid Silurium. How about this? Yo, this is great. You ever play Rush Hour? That was a good board game. How are people supposed to get through here? This is a total fire hazard! Hmm. Gotta move this Keep one. clearing a path, Raz. We gotta get through this! Almost there! Well, that's something. Hmm. No, that was wrong. If I move this over here, how about this? Keep clearing a hmm. path, Raz. We gotta get through this. Almost there, Raz. Hmm. Keep going, Maybe Raz. Maybe this goes over here. Hang on. I think I bungled it up a little bit. Oh no. How about this? Gotta move this one. Step by step. Yeah, I think I got hmm. it. Maybe this goes over here. Keep clearing a path, Raz. We gotta get through this. Now we're cooking. Yeah, we got it. Maybe there we go. this opens up a path. Yeah! That's fun. <laughs> that works really well, actually. Um, Looks like I'm not going to get any farther physically. And psychically, I'm still pretty scrambled. I'm going to stay here and keep focusing my psi energy on you, Raz. There's the rat. Harold, did you get yeah, he's stuck. stuck again? When are you going to learn? Lily doesn't need me in her head right now. She's... Okay, Harold, what are we looking at? A fuse. <laughs> they would never have a candle on a submarine. Aha! It is a candle. I knew it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Be cool, Harold. Be cool. Did you 
I said be cool. Oh great, now he's really, really a fish? What the heck? Raz, what are you talking about? These guards are all fish. Yeah. Are you seriously just figuring that out? <laughs> I always thought these guys seemed a little Oh, I was going to say suspicious, but that's a better joke. <laughs> Mouse jokes. Okay. Now I just have to remember all that submarine instrument training I took. Oh wait. That was just a comic book I made. But still. Look, I miss your pokey scope. <laughs> hey, I think the periscope is poking into another vessel. I see something in there. Wow, you can actually use the periscope by looking in it. That's awesome. Sorry about the the PSVR warning. My my camera's very close to me, so. Damn, so Sasha Nine's just. Oh, this is in the UFO. Oh man, I'm still not used to these fish face freaks. And so that's why on my planet we have artificial butter. <laughs> now you tell me something about your planet. Clean the lens a little bit. Agent Nine. Took a shower before, so it's fogging up a bit. Sasha, we're in big trouble. Relax, all of you. Everything's fine now. What? I was worried too when I thought that the alien crew had perished in the crash. But look at all the survivors. I, I saw it, Evan Dragged. Very oh, nice of you. you Thanks, have dude. Malaria poisoning. These aren't flowers. She means aliens. Well, th they aren't a lot of things. It's good to be skeptical, children. But sometimes science needs to be open-minded. We are on an alien vessel. Do you understand the consequences? The boon to science? Oh, brother. Now, let me get back to my historic encounter, will you? Now you're a nut, Sasha. There's a, one of them golden disc things. Yeah, gold records. Is a collection of our things they, they send into space to let space aliens know. To say hello to the cosmos. I noticed it seems to have a hexapal on it. And it led them here. Yeah. Only to get sucked into the rhombus of ruin? Yes, well, that was not... That's really totally a hexapal. Oh, you know what? That's a hexapal? And those arrow puzzles are totally puzzles in Broken Age. Like the little up-down, left-right uh, arrows. That's, that's a really good cameo, actually. That's super solid. Okay, well... There is no record player, so I guess I will just put you down for now. Now, I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to do here. It's very unclear. Um, so... Does Silerium cause this kind of mutation? Fuck. Is it a staring start contest back there. aliens are looking for? Let us is go! Is that how you communicate? So be it. Staring contest it is. <laughs> um, okay, there's a cow in here. I'm going to call you Edgar. <laughs> that's that's a reference to the other psychonauts. Better not burn this hay. Might need it for an experiment. I never poke bulls. Just part of my philosophy. Wow. That really looks delicious all of a sudden. At least they're feeding the poor bull. I don't want to see what that cows. Okay, I can't go into his brain. This guy's looking at some sort of teleporter. What if they blame us for the crash? Can these guys breathe air? I wonder what if there's some music me? on that gold record that would help Sasha. Yeah, I mean, I can always... I just Did the gold record just go in the middle? Species? Did that just... Oh. Oops, I <laughs> accidentally banged the controller against the desk. Okay, so that's doing whatever it's doing. Oh. These controls all seem to be under lockdown. I wonder what they do. Probably something weird and alien. Don't touch them, Raz! This is for the good of science. These controls won't what budge. Value is it's like they're humanity. all locked. But the truths we have collectively discovered, painful though they were to Locked, learn. huh? This is obviously where the aliens store their snow cone flavor syrup. K 
can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. Oh, I can heat it up. Okay, so I drained it all into the middle one. Yeah, I think so, but not sure how to play it. Huh, now they're all reducing. So do I have to just have them all raised at the same time? Okay, so I assume that, this seems kind of mean now that lets I me turn on the record player. Yeah, there we go. These controls seem to be unlocked now, but I still don't know what they do. Okay, so gravity. I wonder if there's some music on that gold record that would help Sasha. What is that one? I think it did something. something in the bulls area. Force field. Oh, the force field. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, there we go. Compelling. That one just did something over by the teleporter. Not 100% sure what, though. At least they have a sense of humor. The triangle. I hope this isn't permanent. Did that do some voice modulation no, put thing? It back. This rotating platter seems to drive the star display. Oh. I can spin it manually. But I can't look at it at the same time. There must be a trick to it. Come here, Edgar. Put our guests down. I wonder if playing that gold record would help. Ooh. Is there one that's not attached to something? Cause this looks like this button looks like it splits atoms. Oh, okay. That never leads to trouble. So okay, so that takes stuff apart and that puts stuff back together. Forgive me, Edgar. <laughs> Edgar was broken down into a leather jacket and a <laughs> horn? I don't know. Really tough silkworms? I got a needle and a haystack. Okay. So let's start combining shit. A scarecrow. Something about this is terrifying. I wonder if that's a lingering effect from my time inside a crow's mind. And you can't put a, a second object. No, okay, yeah. So I don't feel like the scarecrow is has feelings. super useful right now. I can show him to Sasha, but I wonder if yeah, there's fuck some that. music on that gold record that would help Sasha. And that he, he's still talking about that, but I have not figured out how to play it. Uh, let's swap so the hay no out for the needle. Hay. There's only so many combinations, so. Sharp. Needle and a leather jacket. Oh, hey. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Makes this jacket. <laughs> I would totally put on that cool jacket if it weren't that big. And then the last combination was the horn and the needle. Hey, 
Hang on, everybody. This might create a black hole. What? Oh, for, uh, a needle to play a record. Of course, of course. I think I need a turn to... Hey, we got a record player. This party nice, nice, nice. So I think I have to manually move it, though. There must be a button for it. Huh. I wonder what that one did. Why can't I hear that record playing? Did you drop the needle yet, darling? I wonder if playing that gold record would help. These aliens are into some kinky stuff, man. That's the force field. I'll put it back. Force field. Oh wait, that's not the force field. Oh. Fuck. Force field. Oh. What was this one again? Gravity. Oh, that that'll drop the needle. Why would they send that in space? Kills. <laughs> Playing animal sounds. Cool. And weird. Yeah, it's playing animal sounds. Force field. Oh. Force field doesn't do nothing. Force field. Oh. What if Sasha's right? I'm not 100% sure they're not aliens. It's working. I wonder how many tracks. Oh, I can switch track. I see. Hmm. What? What is that music? Oh, so beautiful. My mother used to whistle this song out in her garden. Yes, darling. Come back to us. And help us get off this spaceship! Spaceship? Oh, fuck. There this we go. Thing? Please, haven't you examined the material composition and construction methods? This is obviously just a reproduction alien vehicle. Created by the federal government in order to confuse and panic <laughs> countries during the arms race. The ocean floor is littered with them. Can we go find Coach Oleander and get out of here then? Yes. Just after this song is over. Okay, we found everybody. Except for Coach Oleander, who I totally did not forget just now. How are we going to reach Mori without some sort of link? Well, just, just find a path with a jellyfish or something. I guess I need to find a way out of here. Just give me one second to go futz with something. If only there were more fish, I could get out of here. Sorry, Sorry about that. This fish is what I would like to know. Oh, where'd I put my controller? Fuck. Oh, there it is. It's worth I wonder how many tracks this record has. Hmm. If you're not going to play that lovely classical piece, Rasputin, could you at least turn it down a little? No, it's I'm playing that's whale songs. I said down, not Yeah, and there's a whale. Up. 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 Oh my. Is that a whale up there? Whoa! I am so awesome right now. What can you see? God, every, everyone down there looks like a little, um, like a maquette, like a little toy set. That looks really good. <laughs> okay, uh... Where the fuck is Oleander, though? That I have no idea about. Oh, probably in this cruise ship. Oh yeah, the lights are on on the cruise ship. It's true. I see lights up in that cruise ship. I'll bet you that's where Coach Oleander is being held. Oh, I hope the Silerium hasn't caused him to revert to bad habits. Like, try to take over the world? Oh, that's only one of them, darling.
Sounds like there's already music going on in there. Maybe Coach is okay. I see him. How does he look? Are there signs of Silerium poisoning? There are signs of something, all right. Hmm. I can't get in. His mental defenses are probably on high alert. He has always cared so much about defense, darling. Coach's Silurian poisoning looks worse than with you guys. There's already music playing, and it's having no effect on it. <laughs> or his mental defenses could be causing a sort of mental echo chamber for the Silurian waves, converting the results of music therapy. So, I should shut off the music? May as well. Yes! Yeah. Do whatever you can to disrupt his show and put an end to this music! Right. Commencing Operation Buzzkill. Nope. Even from their point of view, this is still a terrible show. Oh man, I remember this band. Who the fuck? I was gonna say. The whole year. I wonder what ever happened to these guys. Well, I guess the All Paul crews fucking crashed and they died. Paul O and Paul M. Oh, and another Paul back there. Ah, the music coming from those speakers feels like it's burning my ears. Oh, I can move the speakers too. Oh, I can burn the speakers, too. Oh, whoops. I think that actually made him more excited about the show. Keep trying, Mr. End this tasteless display. When you are gonna build the end. Oh, rats. Oh, my God, he's still going. Break everything? Maybe I should stop. No, Ross. I give up. Rasputin, it's time for the big guns. I'm going to focus all my mental energy on you, so you'll have the power to side. Oh yeah, I'll get the side blast back. Of course. Why didn't we do that before? Um. No one asked me. My head feels good. Like it wants to blast something. Nice, okay, so I blast back. Oh yeah. You like my old self again. Hey, but maybe this will trigger a finale. Maybe this will trigger a finale. Oh my god, look, they're all fucking dead. Oh. Super cannon. That looks dangerous from here. Yeah, let's get a better view of it. And that glass looks pretty fragile. Hey! Who's pouring cold water on my show? Uh oh, this is good. Help! Somebody! I'm a singer, not a swimmer! <laughs> it's a fucking idiot. This is I gotta say this is really good looking for a VR game. Um Hey, is that some sort of Navy sneak? Oh! Oh my god! Yeah! I wish the Navy could see me now! <laughs> Coach, you did it! You're swimming! We will tell no one of your moment of fear, nor of your Silerium delusions. Silerium delusions? Soldier have to get poisoned to enjoy a little R and R around here. Never mind. What we need to do now is focus on getting out of here with Truman. We can get past these mutant fish guards pretty easily. Most of them are pretty harmless and stupid. Mutant fish creatures, you say? Mm. Yes, aquatic animals grotesquely enlarged and made somewhat amputory. 
Mm -hmm. I recently collaborated with an individual who had some expertise in that field. Uh huh. Have any dental equipment lying around, have you? Well, actually, I'm strapped into a chair right now that looks like it could belong to a mm -hmm. dentist. My God. Rasputin, get out of that chair. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, we're going back. Ras, what did the coach mean? Well, see, there was this one time I tried to, uh, take over the world. And I got some help from a dentist slash brain surgeon. Slash lunatic. Everybody Is he still around? No one can hear us. Yeah, but I'm just a little freaked out. Where is he? I assume they're referring to Dr. Lobato. Something's wrong with Truman's brain. Oh yeah, now I can't warp. What was, what was what? Hello? What the? Pick up the oh fuck, God, fuck. Dr. Lovato. <laughs> hey. That was really effective. Uh, because if you're a new patient, then there is a lot of paperwork you'll need to fill out. Didn't you? Weren't you? The coach. Oh, listen. I'd appreciate if you didn't tell that little army man about my second job. As a freelance contractor, I do find the need to juggle clients from time to time. But I don't think he would like hearing that I was moonlighting. Just between you and me, I think that little fellow had a touch of halitosis. Am I right? But the customer is always right. It's not like my new client doesn't have his own issues. New client? Who's that? Ah, <laughs> nice try. Doctor patient confidentiality is something I hold dear. I do nothing without my professional ethics. Now, sit back, relax, and this icky procedure will be over in no time. Procedure? God, so this shit just didn't end for Raz. Like, immediately after the last game, he's thrust right into Dr. Lobato's clutches again. Oh, a door! Look, a door, a door! Coach Oleander, that mermaid tail in Mono Propulsor really won't. All right, I'm going in. Are you sure about this, darling? I'm sure this is what a psychonaut would do. I'm inside Dr. Lobato's mind, and I'm... It's in a... I'm a shower. On a boat? Am I tied to the mast? Hey, you down there. First mate, what's going on? Why am I tied up? Is a storm coming? There's a monster lurking beneath these waves. A cursed, soulless leviathan that will never rest till it's dragged us down into the black abyss. How about we get the heck out of here, then? You think we wouldn't sail to more friendly waters if we could? Look at that compass! Gone! Look somewhere along the way! <laughs> it's enough to drive a man! To drive him! <laughs> oh, God! Yeah. That was so flat. <laughs> I like that. Make those shower caps out of. It looks like I did some fire damage. Yeah, fire! Why didn't we think of that? Okay, first mate Lobato. If Monster Lobato comes back up, do that trick to slow down time again, okay? I'm going to need all the time I can get. I can't pull off his helmet. He's got too good a grip on it. Do I have to hit him with it? I fucked that up. Okay, give me another object. Hopefully we'll get it right this time.
He doesn't want me to just hit it. And lighting it on fire does nothing. Like, I can push it back at him, but there's no actual, like, throw, you know? So I'm just kind of bumping it against his head. Um, probably missing something. Oh, I'll fucking blast it, of course. If I can hold on to these things in the right position, I could probably blast it back into his face. Okay, so you have to move it and then blast it back. And you can't grab that one again. For some reason, I thought Shove would do the job. Maybe? I mean, otherwise I could just keep trying to do the same thing. Let me try hitting the bath thing once. To see if Raz's allusion to ruining the game was genuine. No, I don't think so. I think you're supposed to keep fighting him. Okay, yeah, there we go. Exposed. You gotta slow him down, man. I'd rather drown than get. Oh, man. Okay, time for that. No. Hope they don't want me to do it three more times. So I've got to get the clock to go off. Is it just going to go off when when the hour hand hits 12? Okay, he's just angry. Okay. Oh, look! Wow, detail. I love these things. You have to keep perfectly still when you're looking at them, though. Oh, that's one of the... <laughs> Look, they have it, like, all visualized and shit. That's awesome. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Not sure what this place is. Oh, shit, we're in deep now. It feels very private. I think I hit the memory mother load. Wow, is this how they're going to do them in Psychonauts 2? I wonder. That looks really good, the way they're animating at, like, a really low frame rate. We love you. Why isn't he leaving? 
Just keep waving. The little monster will give up eventually. Ah, soon we'll be clear, this devil child. Man, he was really young. at the hospital. They all agree on the diagnosis and what must be done. Will the procedure hurt him? Well, the ice pick is long, but it's very thin. And in the right hands. Oh, I don't care. I just don't care anymore. Just Excuse me. Damn, I feel like I gotta replay this section, like sitting on my couch so I can actually move my head around a little more. It's so nice how they're all little puppets and stuff. Really, really well realized. Like, looks great. I don't want to use my powers inside this dollhouse. I accidentally mashed another button there. Oh, look, he's a baby. <laughs> oh, will you look at our little angel? Our perfect boy. So sweet and peaceful. His whole life ahead of him. I can already tell he's going to be a doctor. Just like his old... Oh, well, he was right about that. An architect, or a lawyer, maybe a dentist. God forbid! <laughs> hey, what's this teddy bear doing in his crib? You know, the eyes aren't child safe. Don't look at me. He must have been the cleaning lady. Wait a second. You weren't crazy. You were just... more than a psychic. Holy smokes. Hey! The missing compass! So... your parents took you and... they took you and... Oh, man. You know, in a way, this also feels like an epilogue to the first Psychonauts as well. Not just a predecessor to the second game. Like, actually getting to, like, resolve conflict with Dr. Lobato, you know? Oh, now I'm Big Lobato. Too late to set things right. Attention, all guards, release the patients. Bring them all here. 
and then swim home to your little family. There will be no more terrible experiments in this place. Great! Because I'm going to blow it to smithereens! Self-destruct sequence initiated. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, he got the record! <laughs> No, I don't lose the disc. Rad, come help me carry my dad. Uh, I can't Oh, look. Wow. Yeah, Raz can't. Don't think about the water person. I'm not touching that. Warning. There's got to be some way to help. Warning. I'm going to find a way out of here, and then we'll all help carry your dad. Okay? <gasps> Hurry, Warning. Raz. Not now. Hey, coach. Morning. I'm gonna find a way out of here. This is all your fault. Why did you put this thing on so tight? And Harold's around as well. With no. Still not letting go. Oh, Harold's all the way over here. Oh, Harold's in the jet. I hope he doesn't fly off without us. I'm in. Time to take off and leave everyone else behind. Jeez, take a joke, Harold. Warning. It works. Warning. External Psylock activated. Do not attempt takeoff. What? Okay. Warning. Let's go get everyone back. Warning. Aha. Uh -huh. I see the Psylocke now. <laughs> I love those fucking buttons. They're great. Okay. Come on, guys. Great work, darling. Self-destruct sequence complete. Minus ten. Come on, Truman. Nine. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. We did it. Five. Four. Hey, hey, guys. Three. What about me? Don't just leave me here. Two. Guys? One. Detonation. Don't leave! Oh, hey. Relax, darling. We carried your body on board along with Truman. Come on. Think we'd leave a man behind? I also carried Mermory. Sorry, I've been out of my body for a while. Of course, darling. And you were amazing. Now rest your body and your head. And Harold made it too. Setting a course for Psychonauts. So I guess he'll be in the next game. Dad, please wake up. I have so much to tell you. Oh. Your boyfriend? <laughs> That was cute. That was good. That was actually like really, really high quality, I gotta say. That was super good. I expected it to be shorter and smaller. But I actually really dug that. Um, like I said, at some point in there, like that also felt like a really good epilogue to the first game. Um, just getting Doctor, getting in Doctor Lobato's mind and getting to to kind of resolve his storyline. Um, that was good. That being said, Doctor Lobato did get away. 
So actually, no, never mind. It's not resolved at all. We just know a lot more about him. Um, that little that little stinger ending, your boyfriend. Um, that kind of sets the tone pretty well for for the second game, I guess, since you probably will be interacting with him. Like he'll probably be an alternative to Ford in the second game. Um, that was good. And yeah, yeah, uh, Captain History says he loves after how uh, he loves how after all these years it still feels like Psychonauts. And yeah, I agree. That really did feel having just finished Psychonauts, it felt very Psychonautsy. Um, even though you spend most of it not in someone's mind, um, it the, the level design just still felt I exactly like Psychonauts would be. And like some of the touches and stuff were really good, like like the um, the curse hands in the water still keeping Raz from moving. It's fucking awesome. Um, like, yeah, that was that was fucking good. And Mr. Lobo Dr. Lobato might actually be more powerful now. I don't know. I have no idea. It's true. We may have restored his powers. Yeah, if you, if you hadn't played the original game, this would be almost entirely lost on you. Like, this would be really hard to follow if you hadn't played the original game. It doesn't really open... Um, it doesn't really open by explaining what's going on. You're just kind of there. Um, and then a lot of concepts that come up during it, are, are they're just never explained. Like the curse and stuff. It's just there for like two seconds. Um, uh... And you, you would never get that if you hadn't if you hadn't played the previous one. Oh look, Oleander, Lobato, and whoever the Psychonauts operator is are all voiced by the same guy. Oh, Tim Schafer wrote the lyrics to the Rhombus of Ruin theme. That's solid. Did a good job. Sounded good. And yeah, there's just so much of it that that. Um, makes me look forward to Psychonauts 2, I guess? Like, the graphics were fucking tight. They looked really, really good. Oh, wow, this was recorded at Skywalker Sound? They're, like, fucking premier, top-shelf sound studio. Um, they did, like, obviously, uh, Star Wars music, but also, like, Soul Sacrifice and lots of really, really good orchestral stuff. Um, but, like, lots of lots of little things. Like, the, the memory safe was, it was really sharp-looking. Uh, all the figments looked fantastic. Um, it really, really makes me feel, yeah, excited for what's to come, still. Um, and at the same time, this doesn't feel like it's mandatory reading for Psychonauts 2. Like, I feel like you could probably go from the first game to this game and not miss much. Because all you'd really miss is, like, we saved Truman Zanotto... Truman? Was that his name? Yeah. We saved Mr. Zanotto from the Rhombus of Ruin... That's kind of it, right? Oh yeah, Babel did the testing. Fuck that place. It's a third-party testing place, and yeah, the turnover rate is wild, to say the least. I don't even recognize any of the names, which is unusual. Wooly worked there for a long time. Um, yeah, Epic Games. Oh, I guess they made this on Unreal 4, probably? The graphics were really fucking good, considering it's a VR game. Like, even even just this, like a lot of the effects they're using, look really really good. Um, pro probably not nearly as impressive, uh, just just seeing the video, but in VR it looks real real nice. I want to see if there's anything at the end. I kind of doubt there'll be anything at the end, but. R.I.P. Pancake. Majesco Entertainment, look at that. Majesco still owns... Do they still own Psychonauts? Or did Double Fine get that back at some point? I have no, I have no idea. Raz will return in Psychonauts 2.
Could you imagine they had released this without announcing Psychonauts 2? And it ends with Raz will return in Psychonauts 2? Fucking blow minds. I imagine we're gonna go back to the title screen. Maybe with a chapter select now? Let's see. Chapters, yeah, hey. So how many chapters were there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. Well, that's Psychonauts and the Rhombus Ruin. That was really good. That was, uh, that was very enjoyable. Super high quality, too. Um, I believe the game was... I believe it's 19.99 US, which is $26 Canadian. Um, so it is it is a little short, you know, just like Batman. In a, well, actually, it's twice as long as Bat, more than twice as long as Batman. Um, it's a little short, like most VR things, but like super super quality. Uh, what would you what would you guys think of it? Um, oh, how how long? We started at one, right? So clocking in just under two hours, hour 45, I guess. Help coach out with fire, didn't do that. Play the song melody on the keyboard in the cruise ship. Play, play a certain song. Uh, tune into all the radio stations. Solve the sliding box puzzle on the train in 20 moves or less. Nice. What do we get? Locate Rama's Ruin, rescue. Create the spiked love. Oh, look, it's a trophy called Brutal. That's great. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, KG Haleon says you ought to check out Static. It's top tier VR, and yeah, I, I have. I, I finished it actually. It's really, really good. Um, I just have one one thing left to do in it. Um, let me jam that in there. There is there is a, a slight organization there. I know that looked very random, but there is slight organization happening. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, okay, yeah, seems like all you guys thought it was pretty solid, too. Uh, Vestilion, I, I can confirm to you right now that, yeah, Psychonauts 2 is not a VR title. It would be really cool if Psychonauts 2 had a VR component. <sighs> like, I want it because I have a VR headset, and, like, they just demonstrated that they can do a really good VR game. Um, but Psychonauts 2, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be 100% no VR, so zero percent VR. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, Maxim Ranger. I'm, I'm not gonna play anything else today. The reason I had to reschedule is because my the end of my day, starting at 4 p.m., got really packed, um, and I knew this game was short, so it was gonna fit perfectly. But uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna be playing anything else after this. Um, yeah, it did really feel like Psychonauts. I totally agree with you guys on this. Uh, Evan Drag, I'm not far on Persona. I'll let you know when I finish it. Play Fable the Journey next. I would if it was in VR. I'd do that. Um, you know, I, I would love I would love if Double Fine could make another VR title. That'd be really cool. Um, wait, there was just a question that flew by that I'd love to... Who asked that? Where was it? True, we still don't know who hired Lobato. That's certainly true. Um, oh, here. Uh, Shinsasu said he thought it looked good, and he wonders why it's not on Vive. By the way, have you ever tried a Vive? Uh, so I have tried a Vive. Only at, only at shows, trade shows. Um, and it's it's extremely good, honestly. Uh, I think the screen door effect sucks. Um, that's something that doesn't exist on PSVR. The resolution's a little higher, so games look a bit sharper. But screen door effect, I really don't like. PlayStation VR resolution is a little lower. Games don't look quite as sharp. But you don't have a screen door effect, so it's it's, it's trade offs, right? Uh, Vibe's not that comfy, but the tracking's fucking good. It's fucking good. Um, reason it's not on Vive, I'm under the impression that Sony partially funded this, um, and you can see in the credits a bunch of Sony guys are credited. Um, so I imagine that at least partial funding came from Sony. Uh, 
which is why this is currently exclusive to PSVR. I, th I personally, I think it's probably just a timed exclusive. Um, cause I know there's a lot of Psychonauts fans on, on, on PC. Uh, and I'd be surprised if they kept it exclusive forever. But frankly, they can release it at any given time before Psychonauts 2 on PC. And people, like, it only takes two hours to go through. So, <laughs> you know, it's not like a 60-hour game where it needs to be released, like, months ahead of time in order to catch up. It'll take, like, two seconds. Uh, uh, Maxium Ranger, just, uh, you can, you can whisper to me or message me if, if you just want to send me a message or something. Totally. Yeah, it's true. Double Fine is one of the few companies who've made both a good Kinect game and a good PSVR game. Uh, they did um, Once Upon a Monster for Kinect, the uh, Sesame Street game. Uh, it's criminally underrated. It's actually a good game. Uh, so, yeah. Do you feel that VR will have a good showing this E3? Um, well, okay, so Vi Vive's nothing. Vive is nothing. It's not going to have a showing because it's, it's you know, Valve, I don't know, Valve doesn't seem, like, they're not funding software for it in a big way, you know, so Vive's not going to have a showing, really. Maybe there'll be a couple games announced at the PC gaming show, um, but they'll be on Vive and Oculus. Oculus might have some good announcements. Oculus is putting a lot of money into, into like, really high-quality game development. They just had a horror game launch uh, last week that's apparently really good. I forget what it's called, because I... I instantly realized, well, I can't buy it, and I, I turned my brain off. Um, so Vi uh, Oculus might get some good announcements, for sure. Um, Sony, I hope so. I certainly hope so. They, Sony still has, like, four PSVR games on the horizon. Um, one of which is Farpoint, that looks fucking awesome, that's out, like, midway through May. Um, uh... T -t -t Yeah, Farpoint's out mid-May. I, I hope they announce some new games at E3. Because they have Farpoint and they have Golem. Those are the two big ones that Sony still has as far as first party goes. Um, and they have a couple smaller ones as well. Like uh, No Heroes Allowed VR and um, that fucking Modern Zombie Taxi Corporation, I think it was called. Um, so those look good. And there's still a couple good PSVR titles from third parties like uh, Ace Combat 7. And presumably the DLC for Resident Evil 7 will continue supporting VR, so I don't know. I hope. I hope we'll get some good announcements from Sony. We do know they opened a studio in, I think it was North Carolina? No, North Dakota. They ordered. They opened a studio in North Dakota that was apparently focused on PSVR. And their job applications were looking for art directors um, who, who were able to approximate like a Ghibli-esque style. So... We'll see. Have I tried World of Final Fantasy? Yep. I did. I think I think my save file is like 70% of the way through the game. Um, yeah. Sorry, I had to type something. Sometimes when I type stuff, X splits like, yo, you just pressed a hotkey. And then when I check X splits hotkeys, I'm like, what the fuck hotkey did I press? <laughs> so I don't know. Um, KG Haleon says he feels like PSVR is probably dead if it doesn't have a good E3 showing. It's been pretty silent for titles. I think it's been pretty silent for announcements, yeah. For for release titles, there's been there's been content coming out like every week or two like there's been a bunch of stuff coming out actually I, i'd be more inclined to say like there's been at least one game a week since launch it's been really consistent but as far as big titles go yeah it's been a little dry that's no two ways around that it has been a little dry um for big for big games so yeah here's hoping you know do i think nintendo will ever do vr not for a little while like the switch Oh shit! Yeah, I just changed the um, resolution by closing a VR application, so now the Elgato's freaking out. Let me just let me just kill the Elgato. 
Let's just murder that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, when is E3? Uh, E3 this year is June, I think it's 6th. Let me actually check. I'm, I'm going to be streaming it all. So if you, if you follow my schedule, it's June 13th to 15th. Uh, if you follow my schedule, you won't miss it because it will be on there. It'll be a good time. Is there porn for PSVR? Um, I believe you can use um, one of the PSVR media applications to sideload videos via USB. I think. I haven't tried it. I have... However, with the Gear VR. And it's cool. <clears throat> Are we getting Baroque next month? Baroque some month, man. Baroque some month. I kind of feel like if I want to do Baroque, I want to do the whole thing. And I don't want to get into any long games next month. Because uh, I want to cut everything off for card games in June. So... If I, if I do Baroque, I want to do the whole thing, I feel. Am I interested in Prey at all? Yeah, I have it pre-ordered, and I'm going to pick it up on uh, Tuesday. Is that when it comes out? Um, and we'll see. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm going to call it there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that right there. So... Uh, big shout outs to SP Player, Brophius Awesomus, and Shiz Turtles for their subscriptions. And a uh, big thank you to WTF Oliver, who <laughs> who has donated with a message, Ultimate Giga Legit Sponsorship Payout Number 2 from HorsePorn.com. So thank you, WTF Oliver, and thank you, HorsePorn.com, uh, the number one purveyor of uh, horse porn and extremely low latency computer monitors. Uh, please get your HorsePorn.com. Uh, computer monitor if you want to practice for evo they're the best they get um try to forget that there's a logo on it no one will judge you for it anyway yeah um anyway uh thanks uh, oh actually you know what uh rio i'll tell you right here um uh he asks is public e3 even going to be fun to go to from what i understand it's always press release stuff um i would recommend just going to pax uh, I haven't actually been to E3, but everything I've heard from people who have been to both PAX and E3, uh, everyone's told me that PAX is just a better experience. Uh, PAX Prime is the one to go to if you can, but otherwise PAX East is really great. I haven't I haven't been to any of the other ones, so I don't know. Have not tried Little Nightmares yet, J-Man, but it looks good. Uh, cool. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to be out for now. Um... Take care, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed Rhombus of Ruin. I certainly know I did. Um, I will see you guys uh, in May. The schedule for May is not up yet. Um, I'll have to do that. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.